you look underneath each tire, uh, here's the, the uh, left rear tire, you see a white pad, a uh, Teflon pad. Underneath that is a, a set of load cells and force measuring devices that allow us to measure the forces going through the tire. And underneath that is a large hydraulic cylinder that is controlled to push up and down on the tire simulating road inputs just like we saw out at my uh, Pearl Lab. However, in this particular rig, there's one of those cylinders under every tire, and that supports the, the main load of the vehicle. If you look right in front of this tire, you see another um, shaft coming up from an actuator called an aero loader, and that allows us to push and pull. It applies forces to the chassis of the vehicle through the connection point, and it simulates aerodynamic loads and uh, inertial loads like when the car is turning you know, or going into a corner hard. All right, we're going to go ahead and start up the rig. What you're going to see is this car experiencing one lap of a, a track, a, a Richmond International Raceway track data that was uh, modified slightly for this particular vehicle. And it shows what you'll see is the car going into corners and coming out of corners into the straight. And you'll see a lot of motion in the front. We'll walk around there. The lap track is only about uh, 30 seconds long, I believe. It should start up here in a second. There we go. We're just going into a corner right there. Now what a team would do is they would place their sensors on a car, go out to the actual track, and measure a real response of the vehicle and then bring the car with their sensors and their data back to us. We will take that data and basically train our eight actuators, our four wheel loaders and our four aero loaders. We'll train them to figure out what they need to do to this car to reproduce those suspension motions so that on our rig the car is experiencing the same thing it experienced on track except in a nice, repeatable, controlled environment where the wheels aren't turning. Then they would make multiple adjustments to a suspension, such as changing the shocks, uh, changing settings on the shocks, changing geometry, tire pressure, um, changing the springs out. All those things contribute to how well the car itself holds or grips the road and how well the, um, uh, the, the aerodynamics are kept stationary so that the car doesn't lift up too much during the uh, uh, lap itself.